one of the most prophetically documented dates in history all throughout the Bible is the year 1948. Miraculously, the Jewish people got their homeland back intact. Very small area. They got it back, right? As foretold, it would happen on that year exactly in the Bible all throughout. Now, you know, Psalm being the 19th book from the front, the 48th from the back, 1948, and also Psalm 48 speaking exactly of the year 1948. You know, all the kings from all the lands gathered together and there was a woman as if in travail giving birth. That is uh, giving birth to the fig generation, Israel becoming a nation again. This generation shall not pass lest all these things be fulfilled. Prophetic date, right? Um, 1948, where else? The generations from Abraham to David to Jesus, 1948. It's, it's everywhere, right? So that's a very specific date. And okay, now think about this. So 70 AD, 9th of Av, when the temple was destroyed, the, the clock kind of stopped. You got to read Matthew 10. And then now 1948, the clock started again. In Psalm 9010, it's 70 to 80 years if by strength. So 80 years from May 14th, 1948, it will take you to May 14th, 2028. So remember, he will strengthen a covenant with many for seven years. Now, that is not to say the whole tribulation is seven years, but it's leading us to believe that that is the timeline that we need to be looking at as far as, far as prophecy. Israel does have another date because they had a provisional government until uh, March 10th of 1949. They had a provisional government under the UN. But either way, 1948 is, is encoded all through the Bible, so it's leading me to believe that is a year and that something's got to happen before the next Feast of Trumpets, which will take us into 5782. But all the Psalms represent a year. So Psalm 122 is talking about 2022 and we're in the house of the Lord. And then, you know, after 2028, after the seven years, then there's 22 Psalms left. 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet, completion, and the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet is a cross. And all those Psalms talk about them finally accepting Jesus as their Messiah. So what else happened in 1948? Well, so 1947 all the way to like 56, the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered. The Dead Sea Scrolls that were set apart by the Essenes because they knew they had the prophecy of Daniel that Jesus was going to, that the Messiah was going to come in riding on the donkey, but they thought he was going to like destroy and do this. They didn't, they, they misinterpreted what it was, which they will understand soon. So those Dead Sea Scrolls were set apart, found the same year the fig generation began, right? So what else happened right after the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered? Right after the Roswell incident. Area 51, Israel become a nation again. Dead Sea Scrolls found. Don't look at that. All right, send them aliens. Don't look at that. Look at all these alien stuff here. That's more important, right? Prophecy being fulfilled in front of our eyes. And get on the ark. Just get on the ark.